It's only right and it's only fair that if I come back, I'm going to come back to y'all letting you guys know where I've been, what's been going on, why I've been going on. I feel like I at least owe y'all the decency of at least filling y'all in. So, chit chat, get ready with me in three, two, one. <laughs> Grab your popcorn, grab a drink, grab a snack, cause this might be a little long. So I'm gonna start off with my brows and I'm gonna use the NYX Micro Pencil that I've been using for God knows how long now. You guys, it feels good to be back. It feels good to be able to sit in front of my camera and to just do what I like to do, okay? understand that in life things happen for a reason and understand that I've been gone because I needed to take care of myself I've been gone because I just I really needed to make sure that I was good because you guys when life hits you bro life is gonna hit you with a low blow bro life is gonna try to hit you with a low blow so Clearly, the last time y'all saw me, it was Valentine's Day weekend. Well, the week of Valentine's Day. That was the last video I uploaded. And it's basically been two months. Today is April... Well, technically, it's April 15th now. But um, it's been about two months. It's been about two months since I've been on this screen. And... If you follow me on Snapchat, then you pretty much have an idea as to what's been going on. Um, but if not, you know, I'm just going to keep it real funky with you guys. I'm going to let y'all know what it is, let y'all know what to do, what to do, whatever. You guys know I cannot talk and do my concealer at the same time. So let me do this right quick. Two hours later. You try to do your eyebrows and talk at the same time, and you let me know if you're successful. Because me, I sure am not successful when it comes to that. Okay? Okay. So I did my eyebrows, and I cleaned them up with the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Amande. You guys could pick this up at your local Sephora or Ulta. Ulta has NARS. Now, Ulta was on the come up. But anyways, back to the topic. Back to the topic at hand. I'm going to spray my face with the Mario Badescu Rose Water to just moisturize my face a little bit. So as I was saying, yes, the last time you guys seen me was February, I want to say 14th-ish, which was about Valentine's Day. Um, the, as that weekend went on, I felt like, you know, life likes to come in threes. Like, it, in my opinion, like, I feel like when the low blows come, they come in threes that week was already rough with work going into the Anastasia Beverly Hills um what, what I didn't even prime my eyes yet what am I doing I'm rusty priming my eyes with the Urban Decay Primer Potion that week was already rough as is so I can't really get too much into the details of that but just know as a teacher you play various roles I'm not only a teacher I'm a mother figure I'm a psychiatrist, I'm a disciplinarian, I'm a friend, I'm a confidant, I am a Oprah Winfrey, like bruh, like as a teacher you play so many roles and that week I really feel like it was just a tough one, it was a tough one because I don't only take into the consideration my life, I take into consideration the life of my students because teaching in the inner city school where most of the kids, you know, have their own issues at home, things get real. And because I care very much so about the kids, whatever is going on with them, it has an effect on me. And of course, I want to do my best to try to help them out as much as I possibly can. You feel me? So now going into the um, Anastasia Beverly Hills, I'm going to just jump right into the raw sienna. I'm going to use that as my transition color. So that was going on that week. And then... Um, that Sunday morning, Sunday morning, very early in the morning, <sighs> I 
talking about it makes me want to cry. I'm going to go into a burnt orange as well. I'm going to add that to my transition. So yeah, that Sunday morning, it was about 6.30, 6.31, my cousin called me. Y'all know Fab. That's my twin. My cousin called me and son. Son. Just know it was like my life like flashed before my eyes, bro. Just know it was as if like my life just flashed before my eyes. Like a matter of shock, a matter of a matter of like so many emotions running through me at the same time. It was just I had never jumped out of bed so fast. I never started praying to God so fast. I never saw it coming. Nobody saw it coming. Nobody saw it coming. And my family took a low bro a low blow, bro. The family took a serious low blow with the loss of my uncle. And dealing with that has been very tough. Everybody deals with things very differently. Um, I'm somebody that's I'm very I'm very introvert. Every a lot of things happen inside. I don't really express it. I'm not like an extrovert. I'm more so an introvert because I I carry a lot of things on my chest. I carry a lot of things on my heart. Son, that morning, son, something I'll never forget. Something I will never forget. Never, never forget. Um, I'm gonna go into a little bit of the Rogar and I'm just gonna add a little, like a little bit of that into my crease. Phone call. I'm giving y'all a synopsis of how things went down, but phone calls left it right. <sighs> Emotions at an all time high. All time high. All time high. <laughs> I'm going into the Urban Decay, um, what is this called again? The Urban Decay Spectrum Eyeshadow Palette. I'm gonna go into this and we're gonna go from bad to bougie. Cause even though that's my song, you already know that. Yes, I'm still rolling with it. But I'm physically, like with my beat, I'm about to go from bad to bougie. But I feel like my life is about to go from bad to bougie as well. Bear with me. I'm going to go into this deep end color and I'm going to apply that to my lid. Cherish what you have. Cherish what you have because you never know. You never know when it's going to be someone's last day, when it's going to be someone's last moment. You never know when's the last time you're going to be able to lay your eyes on that person. You never know when you're, that's going to be the last time you have a conversation with that person. You never know if that's the last time you're going to be able to tell that person, I love you. And I'm just thankful that the last words I told my uncle was, I love you. That kind of put me at ease. The fact that I was able to tell him that I love him. The last conversation we had before he, you know, passed, I was able to tell him I love him. And that's something that I really come to realize, bro, because life is too short. Life is too short. All these things, like being popping on instagram and and have like all this drama with people like all that stuff doesn't matter yo all that stuff does not matter what really matters to you should be like your family and your loved ones because you never know when it's going to be their last you never know i'm going to go back into the anastasia beverly hills palette and i'm going to go into the cypress umber to deepen up that outer v sun that happen then of course along with death comes funerals a lot of family time and things like that but one thing that you never truly prepare for is the grieving process that is a bitch it was tough it was tough and there's never there's no there's no cure there's no 
say so as to how someone is supposed to grieve. Everyone is different. Everyone deals with their emotions differently. Everyone has their different ways of expressing themselves. Of course, especially when it's in regards to somebody close, somebody that holds a very high, somebody that holds a very high standard in your family. I don't know why I put this cypress umber there because umber there, I feel like I'm about to cover it high key, but we'll see how I feel. Maybe not. That grieving process was dumb tough, dumb dumb tough. I'm feeling a little glittery, so I'm gonna mix two glitters. I'm gonna mix. Um, by the way, I get my glitters. Well, these glitters, particularly, I got from eBay. Um, it's called. I don't think this is English. Anmas Rookie, whatever. I don't know. I don't know. Just know that I got it from eBay. And it was like a pack of them. A pack of like 36 of them for like the low, low. Had to be like $12. No more than 15 for sure. What I could do is I could leave a link for the glitters that I ordered down below in the description bar so that y'all could order them if you're interested. What I'm going to do is I'm going to mix up the silver and the blue to kind of make like a iridescent like sky blue i don't know i'm just trying to go from that to bougie y'all it's been a minute since i played in some makeup and what i'm going to do is i'm going to apply it with the elf glitter glue so my grieving process was pretty tough um and as i said going back i'm like an introvert i deal with things internally i'm not the type of person that's gonna i'm not gonna scream scream out from the mountaintop i'm hurt i'm I'm upset. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do that. That's not my personality. So I was dealing with things on my own. Should I have? Probably not. Um, if I probably would have been more boisterous about it, I probably would have went through the process a little bit faster. But man, I'm still dealing with that. Everybody's still dealing with it. Cause what happens is that you don't really, you can't really accept. <sighs> Let me be careful with my choice of words. You can accept what happens because you can't question God. One thing I'm not going to do is I'm not going to question God. God knows exactly what he did and for what reason. However, accepting it is one. Learning how to deal with the acceptance is two. I want to do like a little cut crease. I'm kind of letting my hands do what they want to do right now, to be honest with y'all. I'm not the only person that feels that way. My family is very tight knit. Yeah, I'm gonna cover that Cypress Umber. I wasted my time applying that color. I don't even know why I did. I went MIA. I went completely MIA. I didn't wanna be bothered. I just wanted to go about things myself. And I shouldn't have. I should have been able to go to people, but I really just wanted to come to a consensus for myself because I know how I am emotionally. Let me rephrase that. Thank God he placed the certain people in my life that were there for me. I'm so much of an introvert. Like, you're not going to know. Like, you're not going to know when there's something wrong. You're not going to know when there's something wrong unless you just happen to be there at that given moment at that time. So, thank God he put certain people in my life to literally pick me up when I was down. Because I have I have this pride. My pride be just, ugh. son, you're not going to know. Like, you're not going to know when I'm in pain. You're not unless I voice it. And if I were to voice it, that would be highly, highly rare. Because I'm not that boisterous type of person. So... Thank God he placed certain people in my life that knew exactly what I was going through, that were there to check up on me. People sent me flowers. Shout out to Jess. Shout out to Barbara. Shout out to Marge. Shout out to my original day ones. Shout out to Wid. Like, shout out to everyone that was there to just be like, bro, are you okay? And the fact that I was able to sit there and be like, no. I'm not. I commend myself for that because I felt like that was a couple bricks from my hard ass wall falling off. Shout out to Abigail. Bruh, there was just mad people, which I was very surprised that were just there to just be like, yo, what's goody? 
And that's the thing. You really know who is there for you during those hard times. It's during those hard times you really know who's there for you to ride for you and to hold it down for you. It was tough and I really needed the time to just recuperate and to be okay and to like just get myself together. I really needed to get myself together because bitch, I was a mess. Oh, to be honest with you, I still feel like I'm a mess. I do. I still feel like I'm a mess. I do. I have to learn how to modify my life in a way to just realize what has happened has happened and I can't look at it negatively. I have to look at it in a positive limelight. Ooh, this one's higher than this one. E. I could make it a little bit more defined in the um in the crease. Matter of fact, I think I'm gonna do that. When I go back in the cypress umbra, I'm just gonna add a little bit. Through that grieving process, I had a lot of time to think. I had a lot of time to just ponder. And I had a lot of time to just realize like I feel like I feel like I'm in the middle of a transition, so to say. I feel like in the I'm in the middle of realizing what really matters, what truly matters. Yeah, I'm gonna line my eyes with the NYC liquid liner. Clearly, I need a new one. And I heard that these are discontinued, which I really hope is not true because what other liner am I going to use? How sway? How? How? Realizing what truly matters, I feel like really affects your life and how you take a look at what's going on around you. Because people beefing over silly stuff, yo, that stuff doesn't matter. You never know when it's going to be your last moment. Like, there's more to life than bills. There's more to life than showing out. There's more to life than just, you know, having the most likes on Instagram and having the most pop at Snapchat. Bro, that stuff is so inconspicuous. Like, that stuff is so minute to what really matters in life. What really matters in life is the lasting impression that you're going to leave. The type of outtake that you're going to have on people's lives. How you're going to affect people's lives. That's what matters. And B, I sure enough, I'm sure enough not perfect. I am not. There's a lot of areas in my life that I really want to rectify. I want to be a better friend. I want to be a better daughter. I want to be a better teacher. I want to be a better godmother. I want to be a better auntie. I want to be better at everything. So that when my time comes, I know that I did my part. Wow, you see how this wing is fire? And then this one, I hate that when one wing comes out better than the other one. Son, my left eye is making me mad. It's on my left, my right eye. Let's move into face. I'm about to prime my face with the Urban Decay. Whoa, that's not Urban Decay. Smashbox. What is that thing called again? Matchbox Photo Finish Primer. Yeah, that's what we're going to use. That's what we're going to use. Me taking the time to do what I need to do for myself because I really needed to heal myself. So to say, heal myself. Of course, I thought about YouTube. Of course, I thought about, you know, coming back and things like that. And then spring break came along. It's just ironic that the timing of spring break was around the time of testing, standardized testing for my students. If you're an educator, you already know, especially if you're in a testing grade, that stress, that stress son, for standardized testing is on a different level. Because you already know all that matters are the scores. I'm gonna put on some mascara on my lashes. This is the Maybelline Big Colossal, Colossal Big Shot. Another thing that made it even more tough being around my students because my students knew something was wrong they knew something was wrong they were like yo i mean they say you like that but they're like miss bear lewis what's wrong like you look like you've been crying and you know i just had to brush it off because my kids are so sensitive my kids are so my kids are just they're like me they're so attached to me and I don't want to do anything to hurt them, but I couldn't hide it from them because they knew, they knew something was wrong. For foundation today, I'm gonna use the Maybelline Fit Me in 355. Eventually I had to tell them, 
and it's mad cute because when I told them, they kind of, <laughs> them little eight year olds made me feel better. They're like, Pierre Lewis, it's okay. It's okay, Miss Pierre Lewis. He's right here. He's in the classroom with us, Miss Pierre Lewis. Remember Miss Pierre Lewis when he said that he wanted you to leave us and he wanted you to teach up there? That's because he knows that you're a good teacher and he's proud of you. Like they were saying, they were saying like the sweetest stuff, yo. <sighs> Fuck. I'm just glad that happened before I put on my foundation. This was definitely tougher than I expected, especially since like I lost grandma, but I, I saw it coming. I saw it coming, so I had no choice but to accept it. It was understandable. I should have color corrected, but that's okay. We're gonna have to OD on the concealer. With my uncle, son, ain't nobody see that shit coming. But my God is good. He knows why. I'm not gonna question him. I know that. Tonto is looking down on everybody. He's looking down on Fab, he's looking down on Jojo, he's looking down on Dati, he's looking down on his sister that's mad at Aggie. And I kid you not, this whole time I'm looking at my mom and I'm like, bro, how are you so strong? Like how? When the news broke, I sped down to Miami. Yo, I drove to Miami so quick. By that time, she was already at church. Despite what's going on, this lady got up, got dressed, went to church. I walk into that church. The official news broke down like around like 10 something, like, so like 10.30ish. I walk into that church and my mom is on stage praying. When you talk about a woman of faith, when you talk about a woman of strength, when you talk about a woman of dignity, when you talk about a woman that, oh, yo, I said, God, if I could only have at least half the strength that she has, I'm good. Yo, this lady was such a role model throughout this whole process. Like, so many times I wanted to break down and I'm looking at her, I'm like, bro, I can't break down because of her. But ah, it eventually happened. The day of the funeral came. I got this. I was like, I got this. I'm, I got this. I'm good, good, I'm Gucci. I got this. And it's so ironic because my mom and I are sitting in the front row at the church and I have my phone and I'm just pre reading it over to make sure that, you know, I got it, that I'm good. Just to make sure that, you know, it's coming out the right way. I'm going to use the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer on a Monday for under my eyes. And then my mom, my mom says to me, she's like, I'm so proud of you. She's like, I'm so proud of you. And I know Tonto would be so proud of you. And I just look at her, cause my mom is a toughie, bruh. My mom is a knucklehead. My mom is a tough one. Like she's not gonna express the love. She has the love for you, but she's one of them tough love type of parents. Which explains the way I am because I'm a tough love type of friend. So I was like, yo, I got to go up there and I got to I gotta do this. I got to do this one time. My mom was like, this is the last thing that you're going to be able to do for your uncle. So do it well. Make sure you do it well. I was like, all right, cool. I got this. Ah, uh, I go up on the stage. I think I need to get a new one of these. Because I feel like it's pretty, pretty low. So I go up on the stage. And you know, I started off from Gucci. I got this, you know, I'm taking my time, I'm not mumbling the words, I'm making sure all the words that I'm pronouncing, everybody can understand them. I don't know what happened. By the time I reached halfway through that eulogy, I'm trying my best not to ball now because I have his pictures like around the room. If it wasn't for my mom at that moment, who got up on the stage with me, and she said, she was spitting my ears and she was like, do it for Toto. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to highlight again. I'm going to highlight with the LA Girl Concealer in Fawn. It's 
sum things up, I'm just very grateful for my family. I'm and I dare you to say that your family is better than mine, because it ain't. I found me Diogen was goody. I kid you not, I recorded a few times. I recorded a few times, but they weren't coming out right. But at the same time, I'm kind of glad that they didn't come out right because I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready to come back. And I think now I'm ready to come back. It wasn't until this week I felt like I was myself. I'm going to set my highlight with the Sasha Buttercup. This is almost done. This comes to show you how much it lasts because I feel like I bought this about a year ago. So this could last you like a year. $20 for a year? Not to shabba. And now I'm going to contour with the Tardiest Makeup Shayla Contour Palette. And I'm going to use this contour at the bottom. Let me stop being dramatic. I go on my spring break vacation. And the minute I got back, it was automatically testing. My kids tested that week. I'm feeling sick that week. And I'm feeling like dumb sick. Even my mom was like, yo, you don't even sound normal. You need to go to the doctor. If a Haitian parent is telling you to go to the doctor... And she's like, yo, you're on bed rest for the next three days because you have a fever. And I was like, I had the flu. I had a fever. I had um, a respiratory infection. Ugh, bro. While I'm baking, I'm going to apply my lashes. Double up Demi Wispy Lashes from Ardell. These were on sale, so I just picked them up. And we're going to try these and they look mad cute and I'm excited. By the way, shout out to those of you that have definitely noticed that I've been gone. <laughs> I have to give a huge shout out to Wasabi in Canada. And of course I have to give a shout out to Flip too. Because if I don't give a shout out to Flip then he's going to be mad extra. And I'm not trying to hear all that taint in my ears. Shout out to Janika Rodriguez. Hey girly. <laughs> These lashes are cute. I like these. No, but in all seriousness, um, I'm gonna set my face with the Makeup Forever Duo Matte Powder Foundation in 218. I heard that they're discontinuing this. I really hope that's not true because it's as if all the good stuff they're discontinuing. Like, can I, y'all, y'all not gonna let me be great? Let me be great, please. So, I was thinking to myself, I said, self. You have a lot to offer. I have a lot more to offer. And so I want to broaden up the video types. I know you guys love the vlogs. I know you guys love the vlogs. Trust me, I love the vlogs too. Especially when it comes to traveling. I love traveling. This is, this is nothing new. I do have a vlog coming up. I do have hair videos coming up as well because people stay asking me about hair yes i'm going to officially open up that door i'm gonna open up that door for blush i'm going to go in with the nars gulu very open-minded and always remember that you guys can always request have to give a huge huge shout out to the new members of the royal family my new subscribers shout out to y'all so the fact that my numbers are still growing while I was gone. Look at God. Look at God. Look at God. So for my highlighter, I'm going to be using the Artist Couture Diamond Glow Powder in what is this? Conceited. Oof. Lord have mercy. Lord. 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 I want to take that same highlight and I'm going to add that to my inner tear duct. But I want that inner tear duct to be popping. I have Max Pro Longwear Liner in. Then I'm gonna use, yo, little fun fact, this was my first MAC lipstick ever. Fling. This is the Viva Glam Gaga number two. And then we're gonna to top it off with some lip gloss. And I'm gonna use the Mariah Carey Limited Edition Lip Gloss in Butterfly Bling. Butterfly Bling, right? I lied, Rainbow Interlude. 